We're here in Austin, Texas at the Grove Community. This is a beautiful park that they've built here. We're gonna do some smart control tests with the Hover Air X1 to see exactly how it performs for us here. Once you go into your Hover app, it's gonna look like this for you and you do wanna to connect to your Hover, obviously. I go ahead and connect the Wi-Fi as well, just to have it connected for album use and manual control if you go that route after this. So once you join, you want to make sure you're clicking on the flight modes area and it's right there. Once you get in the flight modes, you're going to see smart control in yellow currently at the bottom right. You want to tap on that and take a look at that. I'm going to highlight some of the more important settings I believe are in here. Smart control, of course, is one. I keep my shooting mode and video. Follow type has to be on dolly track or else it won't really work correctly. Duration, I keep on continue to have total control of the starting and stopping times. Vertical mode, I leave off. You can always change that later in post. Video quality, I leave it the highest possible, 2.7K, which is what's highest right now with the hover. I do not want to reset parameters. I'm going to leave those the same as the last time I've used them. Auto correction I put on does create some neat almost uh, hovering effects, handheld effects. Distance and altitude is I'm gonna keep pretty much standard and flat throughout these settings. I don't want it to be too high and you'll see why later. You can always play with these distances, making them longer for the zoom outs, certainly nice at 30. The orbit instead of the following distance, which is where it starts, I believe. I, I like to have it as, as big as long as possible. Bird's eye as well is really neat at 50 feet. Not so much at 16, in my opinion. It's a really cool effect when it's really high up. I do like the rotation speed to be as slow as possible. I think that's really neat, although the hover seems to speed up on its own at times. And you'll see that in some samples here. Once you go through those settings and, and have what you like, and you'll play with these as you go along, you do want to go back and I tap the go button here and then at that point, you want to manually start in custom mode on the devices. I can't even look here at the previews because it's going to be an automatic mode. We're going to try orbiting to my left and hope it doesn't go into the water. I think we're clear. After we do this one orbit to the left, we're going to come back and try to orbit to the other side, my right. It looks like it's stopping now. Let's, let's orbit to the right or my right. Didn't want to go that way. Let's orbit again to the right. Not going to do it. Let's zoom out. Doesn't want to do that either. Let's bird's eye. Looks like it wants to do that, but it did not zoom out and did not orbit to the other side. Let's try the orbit to this side first. Doesn't want to do it. Try orbit to this side. It's going to go that way. Does not want to go the other way for some reason. That's the second time I've tried this orbit to the opposite direction. I just didn't want to go. So far it's worked orbit one of the two ways and the bird's eye. Let's see if it'll stop here on the one orbit stopped coming back to me. Let's see if it'll orbit to the other side. Didn't want to do it. Let's see if it'll zoom out. Looks like it wants to do that, but it's got to get up higher. Stop. Yeah, it's not far enough. It's not high enough. So one of the two orbits works. The zoom out works. Bird's eye works. Let's see if the landing gesture like this works. So it looks like the smart controls are setting up. The first thing we want to try this time is zoom out. It doesn't pick it up, does it? I might orbit this way. It's going to pick that up. It just doesn't pick the zoom out up. Maybe I need to put the phone down. I really want it to zoom out.
I like to think it's user error, but it's pretty straightforward. Both orbits now have worked eventually, and the bird's eye has now worked. Then one last try here in central Austin, we're gonna do some smart control tests. I've yet to get the zoom out to work. I've gotten orbit to work a couple times, two or three actually, and I've gotten the bird's eye to work. Let's try one more time. I'm gonna put the phone away so it doesn't get confused. Sideways and down. Can't be more succinct than that. Zoom out just does not want to work on this drone. Might try the other one before I leave. I have two of them. We're gonna try smart control one last time. We have a new hover since orbit worked both times and the bird's eye worked. We never got zoom to work. But let's first try and orbit this direction. Orbit's working splendidly in that direction. I put the phone away, keep it cool, and for possibly not obstructing the, the view of my hands or arms, what have you. Beautiful. Orbit worked one way. We're gonna see if orbit works the other way. Just a little, just got a little jerky jerk. Orbit works great. So this camera so far, the first time I was able to orbit on both sides. I've got two hovers, four batteries. Thank goodness you need it all. And then, this is the big test. New camera body, new Hover Air X1 that we're trying here. Let's let it reset. It gave me the blue light, which I believe means it's ready. Let's try to zoom out. Looks like it might work. I got a blue line. Gotta get higher though, dude, because you're going really low. So it zoomed out this time, but it didn't zoom out very high. Let's turn it off and let's try it with the, make sure that high setting is set properly. We're gonna try some different smart controls. First and foremost, let's try to zoom out. Nothing's happening. Let's try, the, maybe because it's too high. Doesn't really see me. There it goes. It saw my blue, it, it blinked blue. Hopefully it doesn't hit these trees that it's heading towards because it's supposed to go to the full 30 feet. Perfect. Nice, so you get to see a nice view there. Zoom out's finally worked here with this other hover camera that I have. Worked wonderfully. Let's let it reset. Let's try the orbit to, to this other side, which did not work before. Backed up and moved. It's not giving me that blue light. If I orbit again this way, it kind of wants to do it. It's not doing it. So it's not perfect. Smart control is not perfect. It's not orbiting that way either. It may not just work if you have it too high. It's following me here. Let's try the bird eye one more time. See, it sees the bird eye and it saw the zoom out this time, but not the orbit. And I'm gonna prove that one more time after this bird eye and the rotation, I'm gonna do one last test. When I get this back, I'm gonna actually lower the orbit to a flat shot or a low shot and see if it sees me better Red light is on, maybe it's starting to record and following me forwards. I'm gonna try. See, it's still just as high when I have it set to flat. Flat is really just the, the distance of the shot. So it's, it, it does see me this time and it's going lower. Might even hit the ground, it's so low. Zoom out went really low. So what we learned is the start of the zoom out is not does not have anything to do with the altitude you've chosen, which I was hoping would see me better. It's just inconsistent. Sometimes the orbit works, sometimes the zoom out works. The bird's eye has been the only one that actually works the easiest, or the most efficiently, I should say, or successfully. The zoom out and the orbit, not so, not so much. Bring this voice, looks like it's stopped and ready for action. Let's orbit this way. Yeah, it needs to be a flat shot at the highest for it to see your arm for this orbit control. That's what we've learned today. You cannot have it rise or, or high or what have you for it to see your, your smart control gesture. It's going just fine that direction. Let's try it the other direction when it settles back in. It's trying to settle, but it's still moving. Right now, the blue light is blink blinking and it's settled back in. Let's try the other way. It's gonna do it. It sees my face when it's flat. 
And I'll do one more zoom out attempt when this comes back. Before this battery dies out, let's let it settle in. Settling, it's blue. Let's see if it'll follow me forward a little bit and over before I zoom out again. Colony's working right, real nice on the dolly track. Cause it is in dolly track by default. Whoops, whoa, chill out, dude, chill out. Let's see if he'll zoom out for me. Probably doesn't see me. Sidetrack me here as I walk along the water. It's working nicely. Sidetrack is working swell. With some nice views that are better than me. Let's see if it comes back with me. It kept the angle pretty well. I've got it angled a little bit off centered this way so we get some more of that water view. That's the nice thing. And as you saw, you can do the height or altitude, distance, etc. in the app. Let's see if it comes back when I stand alone for three seconds. We had some problems with this earlier. It does. We are setting up the side track again. We've angled it a little differently. We're going to walk up the hill a bit to make sure it kind of follows us up this hill, which is at a slow grade a little bit to see if it keeps up with it. It should, as long as it doesn't hit anything. Got some nice garden foliage behind us here in this 90 degree morning here in Austin, Texas at the Grove in central Austin. It works pretty well. Let's try one more bird eye. And let's get that slow rotation in this one. It'd be a really nice shot if it does that. 